The way the database is set up is again like uh, a table. And in that table, we have a number of fields. You saw in the database we created before, we created three fields. Uh, we're going to create a database, another one here in a minute, uh, for some contacts. And what we're going to put in it is three fields a name and address of phone and birthday fields. And in those fields, we're going to be able to put some information. We're going to put in the name field some names. We're going to put in the address field some columns of addresses and phone numbers and then birthdays in the other columns. And you can have empty fields. Um, and you can look at these records and do things with these records. Again, the whole point of a database is to hold uh, large amounts of information. Um, and to be able to sort and retrieve records from them. Uh, we can retrieve them as rows. We can retrieve them as columns. We could, for example, get all the names that are in the database or any names that uh, begin with the letter A or any uh, uh, records that contain a birthday between a certain day. We're going to talk about how to do that in just a minute. But this is the way you do it in, uh, in Rebel using that MySQL protocol that we've downloaded. Use the insert command and then you refer to the name that we've given that uh, open connection, in this case, DB. And what we're going to do is insert into that connection a, um, an SQL command. We're going to cover SQL, SQL commands in a little bit more depth in a minute, but what we're going to do is use this, um, this SQL command to create a table, which we're calling contacts. And Remember, we've created that uh, database test. Um, and uh, into that uh, contacts, we're going to create these, uh, these fields. Name, which is going to be a, a type of data called uh, Veracar, Veracar uh, of 100 characters that can contain text and numbers and uh, various information. Address is just going to be text. Phone is going to be a 10 digit. Uh, Varkar and birthday is going to be uh, a date format. And we use this rebel function insert to insert that SQL command. Put that into our interpreter and it does that. Now if we go back and look at this point at our um, PHP my admin we can see we've got some contacts information, and there is a set of fields, name, address, phone, and birthday, and we can browse it and see what data uh, is in that. We can see that in that in that database, that information, that table has been created. We haven't inserted anything into it yet. Uh, so we have those, uh, those fields. Now here are some more commands. We just use the create table function. Uh, there's some other statements that you can use. The select uh, uh, statement is the, uh, the select command is the workhorse of SQL uh, functions. It allows us to, to search and sort and um, extract data from a table. We can also use insert into, a command that lets us insert information. We can also use update to alter or add something to a a uh, bit of data in a table, and we can use delete to delete table. And these functions are used to um, create and delete tables. Create table, alter table, drop table, create index, and drop index uh, to create search keys and so forth. Um, that select function, the select statement, is what we really need to get used to first, and that takes this format. We select from a given column name, or we select a column from a given table name. So, for example, in our example above, we can select everything from contacts, and it will print out everything that's in that uh, table. Um, now we've got uh, another option. If you just wanted to select uh, all the data from the name and address fields, you could do that from contacts. Um, if you want only those items returned that, that aren't duplicated, um, you use the word distinct, so this would return all the items from the birthday column that are distinct um, in the contacts table. Um, and we can also uh, perform conditional searches using the WHERE clause. Um, and so 
this will select from the uh, contacts table um, anything where the name is equal to John, John Smith. So if you had several users that were named John Smith, it would return those lines. Um, and in that where clause, you can uh, use conditional operators, um, these Boolean operators, equal or not equal to, or greater or less than. You can also um, use between and the like. Um, conditional is very helpful because it lets us search for a pattern. You use, uh, in this case, uh, the light condition will, will help us search for a wild card. This is going to search uh, J percent sign, which percent sign is a wild card that can be any character. So this will return anything, uh, select everything from the context field where the name is like J and anything that follows. So John, Jim, any other name that has a J in the beginning. Um, and this would uh, return everything from the context table where the birthday has the characters O2 in the middle. Um, and in our table there are several. Uh, John Smith, Paul Thompson, and Jim Percy would be returned in, in that case. Um, and you can use the AND and OR uh, clauses to uh, help search. Uh, in this case we're going to select from the context table um, anything where the birthday is con has the character 72 in it or the phone has the characters 34 in it. So we can really do some some finely refined uh, um, searches. You can uh, use the in clause to match uh, to match several numbers if you'd like. In this case, uh, from contacts will select anything where the phone is either is in this list five 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 one two three four or five 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 two three four five. Um, you can use uh, between um, to help you search for ranges. So this will search contacts table uh, for birthdays that are uh, actually not. We're using the not uh, refinement to. Um, search for uh, birthdays that aren't between 1900 or 2010 at those dates. Um, and if we have our data type set up correctly when we create the database, uh, text and dates are uh, dates that will, it will deal with those appropriately. Um, you can also sort the results. So this will sort, uh, it will grab all the information from the context database, everything, but it will order it by the name results in alphabetical order by, by name. Um, and we can use refinements that, all, that also. For example, this will uh, select name and birthday columns from the contacts and it will order it by birthday and name in descending order. That DESC will do it in reverse order. Um, and so that's the you know, a good overview of what you can do with select. There's quite a bit more. And if you want to learn more about uh, SQL, you just go to Google and type in uh, MySQL tutorial or SQL tutorial. Um, another command again is the insert into, and this will allow us to, s to put values into the database instead of uh, return them from the database. Instead of uh, showing us information, it lets us add information. So here we can insert into that table name a certain set of values, and then we put those values in parentheses, comma separated. Um, here we can insert into contacts these values. Uh, this, is for example, is one line, a new person, Billy Powell, with his address and phone number and birth date. Um, and you can also select uh, or, or specify where you want to include, in which columns you want to include this information. So you can, just for example, insert a uh, name and a phone number into that context database, and it would leave the other, the other items in that uh, row empty. Uh, you can also change uh, information in the database um, using the update statement. So we could set the address to um, a new address, in this case, and, uh, wherever the name is Robert Ingram. Um, 